Hey guys, welcome back to another Tanika Talks video. If you're new here, this is just a chatty, get ready with me, very casual, talking about things that have been happening over the last month. I've been trying to do these videos once a month, so I will link my last one down below if you want to get caught up. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Oh my gosh, so how is everyone? I feel like I have so much to talk about, so this could be a long video. Get yourself a snack, make yourself a tea, or a glass of wine, whatever you prefer. I'm going to start out with this new Glow Cherie. It is the Natural Glow Enhancer Primer, and it is in the shade. Um, porcelain glow now I've been using this for a while now and it is actually so beautiful and it smells delicious oh I think it's like watermelon or something it's so nice but let me just blend this out and you can see that beautiful glow that it gives like oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so I have a lot of wedding related topics to talk about. So I hope you're excited for that. I've got a few pimps I want to cover up. So let's just get onto those with a green concealer. Okay, so let's start out with what else I've accomplished in the wedding planning because it is a lot of hard work. Like who would have known? <laughs> so I have booked a band. Now I wanted a band because I just felt like one moment. So yeah, I wanted a band because I just prefer the overall vibe and I was getting quotes. <laughs> they were like at least $3,000 minimum. And look, if I went like full on the band with the like expensive band, it wouldn't give me any leftover money, say for like my dress. Like I would have had to stick to a really, really tight budget for my dress. And so I thought about it and I was like, look, I'd rather be able to go dress shopping and have a bit of money to like play with than spend it on the band. So I end up finding this band and it's just one guy and he plays live music and I don't know, he's got this whole setup and he just looks really good, a lot cheaper. I am so excited. I'm going to go in with the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. I actually had a subscriber send this to me a while ago and I just never got around to trying it. So I'm so excited. I've heard so many good things. Now I think the color is going to be too dark. It's in the shade. Damn, I can't see shades these days. Oh, there it is, 101. So I'll just pop some on here. Yeah. Oh, it's quite dark actually. Let's get out the trusty lightning drops. These ones are by Astralis. I think I might need a bit because, you know, I'm white. Okay, that looks better. So I've just mixed the lightning drops into those. That looks like a better color match. I also chose my bridesmaids. That was exciting. I picked one of my sisters and two of my best friends. It was a really hard decision. I've got three sisters and I'm close to all of them. I've got close friends that I have been in their weddings and they've been in my life since high school. And I also have a few other close family members. So it was a really tough decision, but I know the girls I picked are gonna be so fantastic and they already have been. I'm going to use my sponge to blend this in. I end up finding these really cute cookies online. They were like little love hearts and it said like, will you be my bridesmaid and will you be my maid of honor? And they come in this cute little box with a ribbon and it had their name printed on the ribbon. So they come around for a little cheese and wine and I gave them their little boxes and it was really cute. It does have a very like beige undertone. So maybe that's why it looks a bit ghostly. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I am digging that. It's got nice coverage. I can still see like a bit of my, like a few of my breakouts peeping through, but I'm still looking really glowy. So that's nice. I do think I put a little bit too much of the lightning drops, but that's okay. I will 
fix that up with some bronzer and blush. If you want to see more on this foundation, just leave me a comment down below and I'll test it out and I can give you a little review. So yeah, booking the band and choosing my bridesmaids feels really good getting that done. I am now currently searching for a makeup artist, which I'm actually finding quite hard because, uh, because I wear makeup all the time. I want something that is a little bit more glam as opposed to natural, but still like that natural glam. Does that make sense? Like I see a lot of makeup artists and they do beautiful work, but that kind of makeup they do is for someone who doesn't wear makeup regularly. And also because my venue is a little bit out of the way, I'm trying to find a makeup artist from the closest big city so that I don't have to pay a lot in travel fees because some of the quotes I've got are like over $300 for travel fee and I'm like, mm, okay. So I'm waiting for a few more quotes um, for the makeup artist and then hopefully I can book that in soon. And like another thing is a lot of them are already booked out. My wedding isn't until May next year and probably 40, no, 30% of the makeup artists I've emailed have said that they're already booked, which is like, okay, I want someone else. <laughs> okay, now that I look completely washed out, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've been really digging this again. And then the most exciting part of wedding planning, I got to go dress shopping on Saturday. Oh my God. So my maid of honor had planned out a whole day down the Gold Coast. She, oh, she's so cute. So she organized all the stores to go to and everything. And when we picked her up, she comes over to me with a laminated schedule, laminated. And it had like all the stores we were going to, what time our appointments were. She even scheduled in lunch. Like that is my kind of organization. I loved it. Now the other day I asked on Instagram and on my YouTube community tab to ask me some questions that you want me to talk about in this video. And Amber asked, will you be vlogging the wedding dress shopping? Now I would have loved to, but a lot of the stores actually don't let you take photos and don't let you film which is pretty annoying. Like I get it, it's because they don't want you to, you know, take the dress design and go to a dressmaker and get it done for a cheaper price. But I did post a few little sneak peeks on my Insta stories. So if you do want to see the dress shopping experience, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and I've highlighted them in the little highlight section under wedding. So you can go back and watch them if you want. Still bloody obsessed with this savvy blush. It's just so good. So it was such a good experience. The first store we went to, oh my God, the lady was so, so nice. And like, it can be a little bit uncomfortable because you go in there to get changed and you're standing there practically naked, like with your boobs out in front of a stranger. But she made me feel so comfortable. Like we were giggling and just having a good time. And it was really cool. Like I got to try six dresses. So this store in particular, I had to choose the dresses before I got there, which I kind of preferred that because it's hard to tell what the dress looks like just seeing it hanging on a coat hanger. Whereas if you look online, you get to see what the dress looks like on the model. So you get a bit of a better feel for it. That shop in particular had some really, really beautiful gowns and straight away I found the style that I definitely want. I did make sure I tried on a variety of styles because I wasn't 100% sure on what I wanted. So I was like, I'll just try on everything and see what I feel best in. So I did try on a big princess puffy gown and that's definitely not my style. I'll give you that little clue. Now on my nose here, I have a pimple. Let's zoom you in. And the foundation and the concealer combined will not cover it. It's one of those. If you get breakouts, you know what I'm talking about. And so I saw this little trick. You just get a bit of your powder. Mm -hmm. Got a little brush and I'm just going to swirl the powder on top. Like I know it seems so simple. Put powder on your pimple. 
but I swear I've like tried putting powder on pimples like this before and it doesn't work. So just a little swirl, build it up and look at that, covered. It's good for those pimples as well that like leak. You know what I'm talking about, you know. So yeah, little trick for you there. I was actually quite like nervous going wedding dress shopping because of my boob situation. I've got bigger boobs and they're not, they're not perky. They don't hold themselves up. And so I wear a bra with like every outfit. You'll never catch me not wearing a bra. It's just, okay. <laughs> and so I was really nervous. Like, how am I going to find a dress that like still looks really cute and like young without having to fully cover my shoulders and my back so that I can wear a bra. But oh my God, was I pleasantly surprised. All these dresses just really cinch you in and hold you in place. And they've got like inbuilt cups, not even wires, just the cups were enough to keep my boobs up and looking good. I was just blown away. I was like, I've never seen my boobs look this nice without a bra. Like, <laughs> wow. All right, moving on from wedding plans. Let's get into some of the questions while I do my brows. By the way, I have been loving this Urban Decay brow blade. You would have seen my review I just uploaded. <gasps> Go check it out if you haven't because this is the freaking best. So Abby asks, who slash what are your favorite YouTube channels to watch? And if you could collaborate with any YouTuber or beauty guru, 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 who would it be? I just love watching beauty YouTube. Really? I just love it. My favorite channels are definitely Desi Perkins and Katie or Lustelux. They are my all time favorite YouTubers. If you've been on my channel for a while, you would have heard me rave about them like a billion times. <laughs> Australian YouTubers, I love watching Hannah Schroeder, Nakia Joy, Crystal Conti. Oh my God, she is just so sweet. I love her. Also, Anna Elaine, of course. She is a fellow fair skin YouTuber. I have been obsessed with Jessica Braun lately. I've been subscribed to her for a while, but I have watched every single one of her uploads over the last couple of months. She's just so down to earth and her content is really good. She does a mix of beauty and lifestyle, so I really enjoy that. Man, it's hard to do your brows and talk at the same time. <laughs> I really like Ali Glines, I think it is. Gleans, Glines. She's really sweet, more of a beauty account. Oh my God, and The Taylor, I just love her so much. Watch every one of her uploads. Raw Beauty Christy, she's another favorite. I just like to put her videos on in the background. I could just listen to her talk for hours. So yeah, I mostly watch beauty makeup related, but the other YouTube channel that I freaking love is called 52 Love, and it's about this family that had five babies at once. She had five babies. <sighs> They are just the sweetest family. They already had two boys, but then they struggled falling pregnant again. And then she ended up doing, I'm pretty sure it was IVF, fell pregnant with five babies and ended up giving birth to them all healthy. Like they were all healthy and happy. It's just amazing. So they're, I think one in a bit now. Oh, they're just the sweetest family. Absolutely obsessed with them. And if I could collaborate with anyone, I think it would be Taylor from The Taylor. She's just got such an opposite personality to me, I think. Like, she's very chill and, like, she's quite monotone in her voice. But there's something about it I just love. Like, she chills me out. <laughs> So because we both have fair skin, I would love to collaborate with her one day. I think that would be so awesome. The next question is from State of Slay and she says, what's the weirdest mispronunciation, misspelling of your name you've seen or heard? For context, her name is Annika. Oh my God, I hope I'm saying that right now. And I've had so many weird mispronunciations. Oh my God. I work in hospitality, so I've got my name badge on and people just, can't get it right, hey. They say Tanika. That is like the main, the main one. Tanika. I'm like, it's Tanika. And one day I told that he called me Tanika. And he's like, is that how you say it? I was like, oh, it's Tanika. He's like, oh, well, it should be spelt with an E then, not an I. I'm like, 
<laughs> and oh, not even my first name, right? My last name. J-A-U-N is just the shortened version, okay? No one can pronounce it. There's been one person ever that has pronounced it correctly just from reading it and it was like this pharmacist. So it's of Latvian heritage and we're not really into our heritage that much, but we pronounce it Janounsness. And holy shit, like, I just don't even let people try anymore. They're like, Tanika Ja... I'm like, yes, that's me. Hello, Tanika Janounsness. <laughs> Like this morning I went to the post office to pick up a parcel and I gave her the little slip and my license and she looks at my license, go, like scans over my surname and then goes, oh god, under her breath. I was like, <laughs> like how rude. Oh, I wanted to lean over the counter and slap her. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, is my surname that inconvenient for you? But yeah, the main one is Tanika for my first name and it just drives me crazy. Or I say like Tanika when I answer the phone or something and they go, oh, Tamika. Tanika with an N. The next question says, what's your all time favorite mascara? Ooh, that's a tough one. But I think I would have to just say anything from Maybelline. They their mascaras are just so good. I don't think there's been one I've tried. Oh, maybe the Lash Sensational in the pink tube. I probably wouldn't repurchase that. But every other mascara I've tried from them, I would happily buy again. For my eyeshadow, I'm just going into this Makeup Revolution Reloaded palette in the shade Iconic Fever. It's just a really nice neutral palette, so I won't do anything too crazy today. The next question says, tell us about your family. Grandpa, papa, sister, everyone. Oh well, <laughs> let's see. I'll start with my immediate family. So if you didn't know, I am the eldest of six kids. I have two brothers and three sisters. There's also the latest edition of my niece. She is eight months old and oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I love her, she's so fat, it's just the best. So my mum and my dad got divorced when I was about, I don't know, an early teenager. Unfortunately, both of my grandparents have passed away. So my pop passed away maybe three, three years ago. It wasn't that long ago. We had a really close relationship with him. We used to visit him all the time. He lived down in New South Wales, so we live in Queensland, and we drive down there almost yearly and have a holiday, so that was really nice. And then my nan passed away a while ago now, it was when I was in high school. So I also had a really close relationship with her, so that was also very devastating for our family. So my family, we're all very close, nothing goes unnoticed <laughs> with us. We have our family dinners every week. It rotates from my house to my mum's house and we all get to catch up and hang out. So that's really fun. We've been doing that for years now. I think ever since I moved out of home. So that's really good. My mum is actually the youngest of 14 children. I know, ridiculous. So a lot of the family actually live in New South Wales in a different state. And then what I think is so funny is with Clinton, my fiance, he's an only child. So when he come into my family, I bet he was just like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> but him and my family are so close, which I absolutely love. It means the world to me that they all get along. We're very family orientated like that. If there's a problem or something like that, it's going to be resolved. And I want to stay that way with my family forever. I want to be, I want to be really close with them. I enjoy having a relationship with all of my brothers and sisters and I want to keep it that way. The next question says best brushes for eyeshadow blending. Well, I have actually done a whole video on that. I will link it down below for you. And I go over the brushes that I think are essential for doing any eyeshadow look. And I think there's only like five or six, so it's not like you need a huge, 
huge collection and I just go over all the different uses of each brush as well and how they can be used for multiple techniques. It's not just one, bl one brush for this, one brush for that. You can definitely mix and match them kind of thing. For my lid shade, I'm actually going to use this Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. I purchased it off Priceline when they had a sale a while ago, but they sent me the wrong shade. There's no way I'm going to be able to use that as a highlighter. So an eyeshadow it is. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice. The shade. Damn. That makes a lovely shadow. Oh my gosh, I have been so excited to tell you guys about what we did the other weekend. So it was Clinton's mum's birthday and she loves meerkats. Like, I don't know, she just thinks they're so funny. She thinks animals are just so funny in general. And so I was like, Clinton, let's take your mum to Australia Zoo and let's do a meerkat experience. If you haven't been to Australia Zoo before, it's actually a really good zoo and they focus a lot on animal conservation. So we had a look around, had a good day, and then it come time to go to the meerkats. We met like at this certain spot and they gave us like a little private buggy all the way down to the meerkat enclosure. And like, it was kind of embarrassing because half the pathway was like private road. And then to get all the way down to the meerkats, he's like chauffeuring us through the crowd. And he's like, excuse me, like coming through. And I felt so embarrassed. I'm like, who do I think I am sitting on this buggy? Like, excuse me, get out of my way. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, that's so embarrassing. And so we got to go in their little enclosure and sit down on a log. I'll insert some photos now. And he gave us food. And so they like climb all over you and they eat the food out of your hands. And then he gets them to stand on your head. Like they just seem like real chilled animals. They're just laying there on their stomachs, on their back. And then there's always one meerkat that's like, you know, on the lookout. Clinton's mum had the best time. She was just loving it. All right, well, I think that is pretty much everything I had to talk to you about. If you have any questions regarding the wedding or just whatever, the makeup I used, I'll leave a list down below because I know I didn't really talk about it much. Yeah, just leave me your questions below. I have some exciting videos coming up, I know. I feel like I've been a bit slack lately. So coming up, I've got a review of the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation. I have another exciting video coming. I also received my package of designer brands cosmetics. I asked over on my Instagram if you prefer to see a full face of designer brands or BYS and designer brands won. So I picked up that package today, so that will be coming very soon. The lipstick I'm using today is in the shade Kinda Sexy by MAC. I might actually go over the top of it with the shade Mocha. I think this one's a little bit deeper. All right, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and catching up. Make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know something that has been happening in your life over the last month or so. If you don't already, come follow me over on Instagram because I do a lot of updates over on my Insta stories. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would have a browse of my channel and consider subscribing. All right, well, I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will chat to you in the comments. Bye.